Who's sending you messages at this hour? No one. I've just signed up to a news feed. You don't want news beamed at you morning, noon and night. It's depressing. Well, uh, maybe he's getting photos of uh, cats in jumpers. That sort of thing. Yeah, that's it, Grant. You got me back to rights. I am totally traumatised. What have you done? Broke a nail? I've just seen Michael in the nudie. Oh, Lord. What is wrong with him? Why doesn't he lock the door? Sorry about that. Oh, here he is. Weatherfield flasher. That's enough of that. Thank you very much. That's how rumours start. I hate living here. We're rammed in like sardines. Well, maybe this isn't a good time to tell you, then. Michael's moving back in. Excuse me, this is my house. That's it, Gran. I think we need to move in with you. I'm ready tonight. Oh, no, we haven't made any plans. You'll be getting yourself some leather kecks, won't you? Now you're a hell's angel. David, <laughs> you do talk rubbish. You can come to us for your tea if you like. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. I don't know. I think I need a rest. I'm making a bake to Alaska to celebrate Michael moving back in. Oh, pudding and science all in one go. Brian Cox will be all over that. I know. It's like a miracle. It'll cheer you up, David. You know you love a bake to Alaska. Yeah, it's always like cold things, hasn't it? Remember years ago, minus nine, everything covered in snow, and he licked a lamppost. He took a layer of skin off his tongue. <laughs> oh, I think he's addicted to that thing. I had to wrestle it off him before. Oh, please, can you not turn it off? I should flush it down the loo. It says here, Macca has made a new post. Give it here. David! Why would you want anything to do with him? It's pointless. You'd only wind yourself up. Great news for our kid. What the hell's that mean? He's gone right into himself, barely talks, just... On that phone, constantly, day and night, checking on Macca. Mum, everybody under the age of 50 is constantly on the phone these days. Look up. Does the ceiling need repainting? From your phones. Something I read in the paper. People need to look up more, appreciate the beauty of the real world, rather than being hunched over their phones all the time. Oh, that's lovely, Michael. You know, I reckon when kids today meet their maker, they get to the gates of heaven, and St. Peter will say, you had a good life. Shame you didn't notice. There's a lot of wisdom in you. And a lot of something. Morning, David. <clears throat> How are you on this beautiful day? David, Michael's talking to you. Yeah, he does that sometimes. Hello? What did I tell him? He's got a lot on his mind, you know, with the trial coming up. Have any breakfast, love? Oh, uh, no. no. I've said I'd um, treat Bethany to breakfast at Roy's Rolls first day back at school. Is she all right? I mean, she didn't seem to be looking forward to it. No, she is dreading seeing that cow, Lauren. Do you know what? I could cheerfully kill her for what she's put Bethany through. Bethany doesn't seem like a fry-up kind of girl to me. When I need advice on my daughter's eating habits, I'll ask you. Thank you. Right, Bethany, come on, let's go. I'm sorry they're all so rude. It's fine. They've got a lot going on at the moment. I wonder if there's a minimum age for going into a retirement home. All right, love. Who is that? Is that family liaison officer? She wants to come and speak to me later. What for? Oh, she wouldn't say. But a pound to the penny, it's about this great news Mac has been posting about. Just don't let it get to you, all right? Any trouble, I'll go straight to a teacher. You sound like a pamphlet. <laughs> no, you should listen to him. She doesn't take any notice of anything I say. Right, I'd best get off anyway. Me too. All oh, right, yeah, you just leave me sat here on my own. Uh, yeah, I will do. Uh, see you later. Bye, Gary. See you. Well, she, uh, seems all right to me. Oh, it's just fun. It's just typical Bethany's. Glassman, Stephen. I'm going to have to take this. Hello. Oh, yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Oh, great. What's that got to do with me? Andy wants to give you £15,000, just like that. All I ever got from my uncle was a clip round the ear. Where the hell is she? She's meant to be here by now. Uh, try and stay calm, David. She's only a few minutes late. You must feel like you've won the lottery. 
I do, yeah. I can't believe it. So he wants to buy back my shares in his company because of this investment that he's had. Shares, eh? Get you, Deborah Meading. Well, he, he always gave me shares every Christmas, birthday, and I just thought it was because he couldn't be bothered to buy me a proper present. <laughs> and what if you don't sell? Well, why won't you? He has said that the value of the shares could go up over the next few years, but he's giving me the option to cash in now. Yeah, well, I won't be too hasty. They could be worth a fortune in years to come. You know, set you up for life. Let's take the money. Well, why don't you talk to Stephen again, eh? I mean, you don't have to make your mind up straight away, do you? It's your classic case of a bird in the hand versus two in the bush. Listen to me, all right? Nobody knows when the cliff underneath us is going to crumble away, OK? Take the money. David. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Right, um... I'll give you some space. Stay strong. Yeah, I've been meaning to weed those borders for weeks. Um, sit down now, love. I'll put the kettle on. So come on, then. What's so urgent? Oh. He killed her in cold blood. I mean, why would they even consider that? The CPS have reviewed Clayton's evidence about it being an accident. They're prepared to allow the manslaughter charge, but still feel there's a strong chance of a murder conviction. A strong chance? How can there be any doubt? This isn't in place of the murder count on the indictment. It's additional to it. Well, he stabbed her in the street. He left two kids without a mother, left me without a wife. The jury can still find him guilty of murder, but if they don't, then he will go down for manslaughter. Yeah, on a much reduced sentence, no doubt. Yes. And if that's the case, there would, I'm afraid, be no chance of a retrial for murder. I knew it. I knew it. Look, you see that? You see that? That's his brother's page. Great news for our kid. He's on about this, isn't it? Clayton's gonna literally get away with murder. That will be for the jury to decide. I know how upsetting this must Do be. Do you? Do you really? The jury's never gonna go with manslaughter. What do you know about it? Oh, sorry. It's all right, forget it. You know, I was exactly the same, David. After Liam died, I hated Tony. Months and months, I couldn't think about anything else. But now, barely even crosses my mind. Liam's gone, that's all that matters. Yeah, well, I want him to pay. Yeah, I know. And I want him to suffer. I know you do. But I had little Liam. You've got your two. They're what's important, David. Don't forget that. No, you go on. You get it. We've got Mrs. Prothero in a second. She likes to come in early so she can settle in. Hey, Pablo, what's up? Oi! Afternoon, David. Are oh, you all right, Mrs. Prothero? I've been not too early. No, 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 not at all. If you want to go on in. So he's just offered me 15 grand for my shares. Just like that, I couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, so you can buy a flat. Why not? I can't think of a better use for the money. Me and the kids, we can't stay cramped in that house and Michael's moved in. Yeah. Don't you, um, don't you want to think about it? Well, why? I say what a good investment they are, I <laughs> No, but come on, I, I say a lot of things to the punters, don't I? Yeah, but they are a great investment, aren't they? I mean, your mum, she seems to think so. I can't imagine her investing Jason's money otherwise. Yeah, yeah, I, I just, I, I think it's a huge decision to make. Be happy for me! I can't wait to tell Bethany she's going to be made up. I'm going to be a homeowner. <laughs> Who was that before? Eh? Mate of Macca's came out of here about an hour ago. What did he want? Oh, you mean Leo? Yeah, what did he want? Try to get you to change your statement. No. What did he want? A kebab. I saw him. He came out of here. He didn't have any food in his hand. Because he had it in here, at the counter. Don't wind me up, Gemma. Tell me the truth. It is the truth. He works around the corner at that bike shop on Tile Street. He comes in all the time. You see that? Great news for our kid. That's on Macca's page. Do you want to sit down or something? Have a glass of water? Why would I want a glass of water? I don't know. It's what you see when someone's upset. Well, I'm not upset. 
Clayton is already trying for a manslaughter charge. That's the so-called great news that they're on about. Callum managed to wriggle his way out of trouble so many times, this murdering piece of filth is trying to do exactly the same. Just promise me, if any of that lot come in here and start threatening you, you're going to let me know. Of course I will. I miss her too, you know. Hi, Bethany. Thank you for waiting. Hi. Hope you're expelling her and all. Expelled? Yeah, thanks to you and your big mouth and all the lies that come out of it. Uh, can you call Mr. Marks, please, immediately? Who's Mr. Marks? Well, he's a PE teacher. He's massive. <sighs> Look, my Lauren's the victim in all this, right? Her uncle's threatened her. One of them cut her hair off. He used to be a real stunner, my Lauren. Well, you said he wasn't that bad. Well, I had to say that, didn't I? You're going ballistic. Right. Out. Now. Before I'm forced to call the police. Mr. Marks is on his way. You should be ashamed of yourself threatening me with your bully boys. <laughs> That's rich. Uh, quick, quiet, please, Bethany. If you have any complaints about the action we've taken, then I suggest you go through the appropriate channels. You've not heard the last of this. I can promise you that. Come on. Not difficult to see where she gets it from. So that's it? Yes. I, I wanted to thank you, actually. Uh, because of your courage in coming forward, several other girls did. Even some of her friends. Apparently you weren't the only person being terrorised by Lauren. You're a very brave young woman. Hello? Hello. What's wrong? Nothing. Lauren's been expelled. You're joking! But because Bethany was so brave, other girls came forward. Apparently, she'd been terrorising half the girls in the school. Oh, you're kidding me. Lauren's dad was there, shouting the odds, which only made things worse for her. And what about the other girls in her gang? I mean, have they been punished too? I don't know. Lauren was the ringleader. I think most of them were just as scared as I was. So is that it, then? Is it over? Oh, darling, oh, it's oh, OK. okay. Oh. It must be such a relief. I was just dreading seeing her again. It's in my head all the time. Of course, it's OK. After everything David's been through, I didn't want to bang on about my stupid problems. Oh, darling, but it's done with now. It's over, and that is because of you, because you've been so brave. Oh, look at the state of me. What am I like? Well, do you know what? I've got some really good news for you and I think it's going to put a smile on your face. So, you know those flats that Todd's selling? I'm going to buy one of them. You made your mind up then? Yep. I've had to put this reservation for you down. So. Oh, what? How? Oh, long story, but it's thanks to your uncle Stephen. But the main thing is you and me and little Harry, we're finally going to have a proper little home of our own. <laughs> <laughs> A bit early for that, isn't it? What I don't get is why would you buy a flat that doesn't even exist yet? Why wouldn't you get one that you can move into straight away? You're trying to get rid of us. Ever since you landed from Milan. I'm just ignoring. I always do. I'm worried about you. Why not, you? I know how you're feeling. Lost. Angry. Bored of this conversation? It's the kids I worry about. They need you now, more than ever. I know. It's affecting them, David. The moods, the silences. You're hiding away from them, from us. Well, what do you want me to do? Go line dancing? Look, um, I know I've said it before, but what about grief counselling? Oh. Look, just please, David, just once to see if it works, just just to put my mind at rest. Mum, I, I don't need to spill my guts to a stranger to make myself feel better. Right. I'm not asking you, David. I'm telling you. You are going to see a counsellor because you need to and because it will help. Now, just for once, do as you're told. All right, fine, all right, all right, I'll do it. Just stop banging on about it. Max, you bring your sister down for a tea. I mean, once you've been for the first time, you might be surprised. 
Mum, when I said I would go to a bereavement counsellor, I was basically saying, shut up, Mother. David! You agreed to do it. You go in. Why do you want his address? Or I wanted to send Maria a thank you card. For what? For being such a good friend. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure I've got it, I'm afraid. Anyway, shouldn't you be uh, leaving, getting a job? Oh, I'm all right for money. Yeah, the army owed me some back pay. Ooh, look at you. Do your own work over the weekend? Mm, no, you never asked me to. What do you mean I never asked you to? What was it? Fractions. No, well, I'm awesome at fractions, so I'll do them with you tonight. Have you seen this? Oh, the Zambezi's closing down. That old dump. I beg your pardon? If I had a pound for every night, I'd waste it in the... Circle when? Circle of you, mind. Huh. I used to work the door. Oh, from 68 to 71. It's my first job in Manchester. Well, I thought they closed that place down years ago. No, they changed the name years ago, but the club's still there. It hasn't been called the Zambezi since 1975, according to this. Mm. And the dance floor was all sticky. Hey, they're having a farewell do tonight. Recreating its heyday in the 1960s. There's two tribute bands playing. Herman's Hermit Crabs and Manfred Woman. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll give it a miss if you don't mind. Can you imagine the old relic scrolling into that? I mean, half my customers, probably. Oh, don't make me go on my own. Freddy, I am not cavorting around the nightclub at two o'clock in the morning just to hear four old dears murder pretty flamingo. And they said you were fun. Did you get him to school OK? Yes, we are earlier. Yeah, um, I just wasn't sure if he did his homework this weekend. No, I said I'd deal with him later. What is it? Fractions. I always like fractions. Yeah, me too. I need to get a new case. Have you seen that? It's bad. Sarah's got a spare one at home. Mind you, it's pink. Well, she's got a completely different phone to me. So? So it won't fit. Oh. How much longer is this going to take? Sit down. It's OK to be nervous. I'm not nervous. Well, I'm nervous and I'm not even going in there. David Platt. Oh, yes, um, that's us. Um, this is David. Would you like to come in? I'd absolutely love to. So, your wife's name was Kylie? Look, I know you're only trying your best and that, but we've only got 34 minutes left, so if there's anything you need to be doing, some admin, or play Scrabble with a stranger. Is that your mum out there? Came sure up. <laughs> I've got one like that. She reckons it will be good for me. Might. Might not. Ooh, sell yourself. It's not an exact science, unfortunately. So what's occupying you? A few of the lads are going out tonight. Just trying to see what the plan is. Anywhere good? Nah, not really. It's a pub called the Dog and Gun. Just wondering whether to join them or not. So, uh, how was it? Yeah, yeah, really good. Are you kidding? No, no, it was really easy, just talking to a stranger. No offence. No, no, none taken. I mean, that's the idea, I suppose. Mm. Did you just tell him how you felt? Yeah, all came out. Oh, David. Mm -hmm. It was, um, what's the word? Cathartic? Cathartic, yeah. So, um, what, what did he ask you? I mean, I suppose they know what to say or what not to say, as the case may be. Yeah, cried. David, that's brilliant. Why don't we go into town? Get that new phone case. I'm skin. My treat. Well, because I've been such a good boy. You can tease me all you like. 
You have been. I'm proud of you. Suki has four elevenths of a jar of sweets. Adil has two fifths of a jar of sweets. Who has the most sweets? I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, well, they both have rotten teeth. Would I get a mark for that? <laughs> Shall I show you how to do it? No, just let me think. Uh, who's helping who here? First, you turn to oh, Janani's. Yes. yes. I'm glad I'm not still at school. Well, whatever that counsellor said, he must have done some good. Looks that way. Um, when do you have to hand it in, David? <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. It's way over my head. You do it. Thought you said you were good at fractions. Yeah, simple ones, not ones like that. Can you babysit tonight? Why, where are you going? I thought I'd ask Nick if he fancied a drink. That counsellor says I'm supposed to relax and enjoy myself. Years, I can't even say I'm looking forward to it. Look, look, all I did is give her an haircut, right? It's not my fault she didn't like it. I spoke to the police. <laughs> you threatened to cut my daughter's throat! Now, what would you do in my shoes, eh? Look. Look. I'm sorry. Do you think it was funny? No. Hey, if I threatened to cut your throat, do you think that was funny? No. No. Right, me neither. She got expelled, you know. She was bullying my niece. <laughs> yeah. So you thought you'd teach her a lesson, did you? Oh, I wish I had an uncle like you. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe I went too far. Well, maybe I will too. Look, please, just not right now, all right? You, you say, time in a place tomorrow, I'll be there. Just, you can beat me to a pulp if you want, just not right now. Why? What are you even up to? Look, I've got two kids. And so have I. My wife's just died. Yeah, well, I can't claim to be that lucky. Come on! Who's a big man now, eh? Hey? Just let me go. By the time I finish with you, son, you'll have more than a terrible haircut. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. <laughs> and that. Is that quits, yeah? Well, oh, quits. I haven't even started. Look, please, I'm begging you. I just have to get in that pub. What if you're going to bed, son? Bed properly. <laughs> Move it, or we're leaving without you. Wait, who smells like a sad sandbag? Oh. Get off, Lucky. You come near my Lauren again, I'll finish the job. A week on? And it's almost like I never left. Yeah, well, uh, I'm glad you and Mum have worked things too. It's going to be a bit crowded up there, though, isn't it? Well, hopefully not for too long, because I've finally taken the plunge, put a deposit down on one of those flats. Well, that's fantastic. No longer slumming it. <laughs> no offence. Hi, love. Hey. When did you get here? About ten minutes ago, Leanne popped into work, so I thought I'd hang out with you kids tonight. Oh, I assumed you'd be eating with David tonight. So? You said you were meeting up later. News to me. Where is he then? More importantly, where would he lie to us? Looking for him. I'll drive. False alarm. That boy up with the death of me. You had us work. Oh my god. You look like roadkill. Bethany. Well, he does. You should be in A and E. Oh, mum, give it a rest. Uh, yeah. Who did this? Does it matter? Yes, of course it matters. Right, come on, tell us. You know we're here for you. Well, if I tell you, you got to promise no police. I right, promise. I don't promise. Mum! It was that Lauren's dad. Lauren? Yeah, I was on my way to the precinct and he jumped me. Oh, my psycho daughter, psycho dad makes perfect sense. Where's my friend? Boy, you promised. Yeah, I lied. You, you can't. What? Oh, Danny's looking up. You don't understand. If the police arrest him, they'll arrest David as well. well. Bethany, David's the victim in all this. Well, he wasn't the victim when he assaulted Lauren. I don't follow. No, I don't. What? You attacked her? Look, I mean, she came into the salon wanting a restyle, and I just taught her a bit of a lesson. <laughs> By butchering her hair. They say that I'm meant to be the insane one. OK, so this is payback? Yeah, kind of. Thanks, 
Thanks for getting rid of him. There's no problem. <laughs> you really went to town on you, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, at least he got it out of his system. That's a bit more than a hissy fit. Well, I'd have done exactly the same because she was on the other floor. All right, so this is how we're rationalizing things now. I know I should have gone away. Yeah, you back off your older for what, two minutes? You're already on a guilt trip. I worry about it. Yeah, I know. And I'm grateful. Mum says you're going for cancer. <sighs> it's just to get her off my case. Well, right, look, whatever the reason, it's the Stein. It's a complete waste of time, more like. I mean, what's it gonna change? Nothing. Carly's still dead, Clayton will be out in a few years. How's that fair? Well, it's not, is it? It's gonna eat you up inside. You did to Lauren, it was crazy. Oh, what, says Mr. Zen? From I remember, you had to go at it yourself? Yeah, and like me, you're gonna have to find a way of channeling your anger, aren't you? Yeah, and I had that under control until her dad showed up. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, forget it. What'd you lie about me to me? I wanted to be on my own. So where'd you go? The Red Rat. So you went to the precinct, that's where you jumped you? Yeah, that's what I meant, the precinct. <laughs> right. Where did you go? I went to the dog and gun. Why? To hurt Maka. You got off lucky. <laughs> Fine, that's exactly what her dad said. What Lauren's dad did to you is nothing to what a pub full of thugs would have dished out. Yeah, well, it'd have been worth it. Yeah, me not. Max and Lily need a father, not a martyr. No, what they need is somebody to pay. Yeah, well, Clayton's gonna pay. I'll walk for five years and be out by the time he's 21. I think he'll take that. Okay, so what's the alternative? You got some kamikaze revenge mission, end up in hospital, maybe in prison, face all over the papers, over the internet. Unlike Clayton. It's not ideal, but that's the system. And there's nothing you or anyone can do about it. Yeah, you're probably right. And Kylie wouldn't want me to destroy my life over him, would she? <laughs> it's weird. I'm that beating's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm gonna go for a stroll. I think clear my head. Get with you. Well, I'd rather just be on my own. Well, I can barely walk, let alone have a scrap with someone. Same as weak as a kitten. But thanks, seriously. Talk out. I won't be long. All right? Hey. <laughs> Look, you know I think the world's a step. Okay, if you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. See you in five. You're back early. She's never gone out. Where are the others? Never mind the others. Where's David? I went for a walk. You let him go out alone? Well, how did you seem? Uh, he seems okay. Nothing about your brother is okay. All right, Mum, um, I think I've got to eat him. I can't promise it's going to be sunshine and rainbows, but I think he's ready to move on. Uh, I've done a list. I'm going to want to put them on. I 
And uh, do you know the dog and gone? I want loads putting up there. I want danger money. Any road that's not my work. I put more where I can than a scarper. It's the weirdest job I've ever done. I've always said a pound a poster. This isn't like slapping up a few posters for a band. This is proper dodgy. I want another 50. Take it or leave it. All right, fine, let's go. Hey, they're up everywhere, them. Saw one on Inkerman, one on Cranfield Terrace. I reckon they're all over Manchester. Anyway, I've got a crack on, I'll see you later. So much for me getting through to him. You reckon this is David's doing, then? Of course it's David. He wants the world to know who killed his wife. He's obsessed. Stupid boy. I mean, if those dogs see this... It's the least of his worries. Someone is playing silly beggars. Now everybody knows who murdered Kylie. Not the smartest move. Whoever did it. I don't know. I think it's a pretty reasonable thing to do. Seems the law's only there to protect guilty people these days. Nah. Everyone deserves a fair trial, mate. Even cold-blooded murderers. Yeah. They do. I'll string them up, I say. Yeah, he should be on. I've been trying to ring you. Police are here. So I see. We're here to question you regarding a number of posters that have been put up which identify Clayton Hibbs and the crimes he's accused of. Really? There's also been several postings online which also identify him. You do realise this could affect the trial? Why is that? Well, if someone's identity has been protected, it's usually for a good reason. Mr Platt, Clayton Hibbs is a minor, which means he's entitled to complete anonymity prior to court proceedings. Well, of course, yeah. I mean, it's his rights that matter, isn't it? Mr Platt. I'm arresting you on suspicion of perverting the course of justice. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later align in court. Anything you do say may be used in evidence. What happened to your face? I fell. As I said earlier, a number of posters identifying Clayton have been put up at various locations. Do you know anything about this? Where's my lawyer? I'm not saying anything till I get my lawyer. I've got a number for Clayton's, I've heard he's read up. If you want a lawyer, we can get you one. No, no, you're all right, I don't need one. I don't know anything about these posters. We've got an IP address, one of the online postings, which showed it was sent from an internet cafe on Tile Street. Have you used this internet cafe recently? Might have done. It's not illegal, is it? Well, did you visit this internet cafe on Monday, October the 3rd? No. I have to warn you, this is a very serious matter. Whoever's doing this is just handing over ammunition to Clayton's defence team. They'll rightly claim he can't have a fair trial. It's likely to be postponed or relocated. Where were you between the hours of 7am and 9am this morning? I was walking the streets. I don't get much sleep lately. I lie awake at night worrying about my kids, thinking how they're going to cope without the mother. I try and make sense of why my wife was stabbed to death in the street. Do you know what I mean? Come in. Have you got a minute? Yeah. Interview paused at 103. Interview resumed at four o'clock. I bet you never left Clayton for this long. I bet you gave him the VIP treatment, didn't you? Well, you might be here a bit longer. There's been a development regarding Clayton's brother, Cormac. He's in hospital. How come? He's had a serious head injury. Someone threw a brick through his window. <laughs> Find that funny, do you? Sorry, no. It's terrible. People are taking the law into their own hands. Hang on. You don't think I did it? 
How could I? I've been here all afternoon. Well, this incident happened this morning. What time did you go for your walk? I didn't go anywhere near his house. You know where he lives, though. Listen, we think you made the posters. We think you exposed Clayton's identity. And then we think you threw a brick through his brother's window as an act of revenge. But it was nothing to do with me. We're going to bed you down for the night. We'll continue questioning you in the morning. No, it wasn't me. This is a very serious offence. If Mr Hibbs dies, you could be up for murder. David Platt. I'm his mother. It's the third time I've wrong this morning. It's all right, Harry. I'll be ready in a minute. I just want to know what's happening with him. Nice bald egg, Bethany. Set you up for the day. Look, I come down there myself, but I'd only be hanging around for hours on end. Oh, I think I'm going to make it too warm So now. when will I know? It suits them. Thank you. Bye-bye. Any luck? No, he's still being questioned. They won't say for how long. It's like trying to get blood out of a stone. Right, come on, Max, I'm going. Have you had breakfast? I've got some fruit in my bag. Well, that's not going to do you. Right, well, I'll get a sandwich at the cafe then. And how much is that going to cost? Sorry, got to dash. I'm running to school. I need to get my exercise from somewhere, seeing as though I can't go to the gym. Who's that now? <sighs> I'm looking for a Mrs. Rodwell. It's for you, Gran. I take it this is about my son, David. If I could just ask you a few questions. If I can ask a few back. So let's go through this again. What did you do yesterday morning? I was out walking. Where? I've already told you. Went by the canal and then up to the Red Wreck. At half seven in the morning? Well, it's not legal, is it? And then? And I've cut through the precinct and then I went home. See anyone you know? No. And you got those injuries how? I fell over a dog. A what kind of dog? I'm not really big on dogs. I don't know. On its own? I didn't see anybody around. Could have been a stray. It's quite sad, really, why people abandon the pets these days. Say it's a man's best friend, don't they? Look, if I did put this macker in hospital, then there'd be forensic evidence on me, wouldn't there? Shouldn't you be taking swabs from underneath my fingernails or something? You've already been warned. This could be a murder inquiry unless his condition improves. You never know your luck. It's what coppers dream of, isn't it? Beats working on traffic offences. Time did he get back from this walk? About half eight? Yeah, about that. Does he often go for walks on his own at the crack of dawn? Not often, no. Look, you, you have to understand he's been very upset since his wife was killed. It, it came as a great shock. He finds it helps to have some time to himself now and again. And what does he do with this time? No idea. I don't follow him. How did he get the injuries to his face? He didn't say. You didn't ask him? Yes, he didn't say. I've been getting the fights, does he? Who said it was a fight? If you could let your wife answer the question, no, please. No, he doesn't. And the idea that he could have attacked this Macca character, well, it's absolutely ridiculous. All right, well, thank you for your time. If you can think of anything else that might be helpful, you know where we are. Um, when will he be released? I'm afraid I can't answer that, Mrs. Rockwell. They'll be able to advise you at the station. Bye for now. Well, what would you have said? That was a lie, though, about his injuries. I know from experience what a dangerous game that can be. Yeah, but, Mum, I do. I know why you said it. Just make sure that David just backs you up. That's fine. As long as he hasn't already said something different. How long is your mate gonna be? What's she doing? Is she on the bog? <sighs> Look, if I was gonna go for this, Macca, what, why? He's not the one who killed me, why? Right. Well, there's been another development. Is it dead? Someone saw Macca's neighbour chuck the brick through his window. Right, the one that hit him. Yeah. They'd seen one of your posters naming Clayton. Well, not one of my posters. And decided they didn't like the idea of living next door to a killer. Mm. All wrong Macca, eh? Nice bit of collateral damage. Anyway, you're free to go. Power of the printed word, eh? What? No apology? I wouldn't push your luck if I were you. 
Be more jet, come for shorter hours. Yeah, and he gets to run around the red wreck and keep fit, don't you? <laughs> no fat on you, is there? I wonder if everyone did that, though. I'll take him to be down at the gym. Saying that, there might be any way if Sharif don't pull his finger out. Why? Ah, oh, we need new equipment, but he's not spending. Well, maybe short cash. No, there's plenty in the account. Don't get it. Whoa. Someone else exercising outside the gym? She's going for it. Yeah, she is. And she's keen if this is her dinner hour. When's the next Olympics? And I still don't know what's going on. Well, he's meant to be watching his son tonight in a swimming contest. Thank you. Any luck? It's just checking. H Hello. When was this? Well, nobody told me. Yeah. Well, yes. Fine. Thank you. What's happened? Released without charge. Oh, well, that's good news, isn't it? At 11.05 this morning. What? That's... Over three hours ago. Why hasn't he turned up? Mm, it's a very good question. Can I help? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Cormac Hibbs. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm his cousin. I heard he had a bad accident last night. Yes, he's just been prepared for surgery, I'm afraid. Oh, right. That's serious. He's had a bad head injury. Right, well, am I all right to hang around? It's just I'm really worried about him and we've been really close if anything happened. Well, all right. Um, it'll be quite a while, though. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I can wait. We've taken him to theatre. Right, and what exactly is he having done? He's in surgery now. It'll still be quite a wait. Yeah, be worth it, though. Saw you out running earlier. Stalking me now, are we? What was it, 5K, more? I don't know, wasn't counting. You're not ever doing it again, are you? I don't think so. You're not still on the diet pills? No. And I wasn't bunking off either before you ask. I was on my lunch hour. Things are a lot better than asking for Lauren Black's girls. Yeah? Yeah. It all came out what she'd been doing. Not just to me, loads of other girls as well. That's good, isn't it? It's just nothing. No, go on, you can tell me. Things are just a bit crazy at home. Well, that's not surprising, is it? David's head's all over the place. Max and Lily are finding it hard. Oh, things with your mum. Bad, I suppose. But not great. It's not that she doesn't care. She's buying one of those flats for us to live in, so we've got a place of our own. But I don't know. Things aren't back to normal. Anyway, I better go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever you want to talk? Thanks, Gary. I'm glad someone's happy to listen. I bet you're pleased with your Bethany. Why? All that training she's doing. Really? Well, me and Gary saw it at dinner time, running her out. Where was that? Just at the end of the street. Flying she was. Tell you what, she'll make a dent in Weatherfield's obesity figures. Come on, <laughs> in we go. Hey, what's this? I came first in the 15 metre freestyle. Oh, you clever thing. Left them for dead, didn't you, Max? Let's have a look. I get to keep it for a year. Well, I think this deserves a treat. I don't know where David was, though. I was telling Max, he, he probably got caught up at work. But he always misses my swimming. Yeah, but he'd be thrilled, you, you know, when you tell him. Why don't you go up and play on your computer and I'll make the tea? How many times? It's a console. Um, whatever. What treat can I have? That's for you to be thinking about, within reason. OK. So, um, any news? No, I've been ringing and ringing. Max was gutty when he didn't show up. So should we tell the police? He wouldn't thank you for that. 
At least they couldn't charge him for the posters. Six hours and counting. <sighs> Well, it's good news. He's expected to make a full recovery. Really? That's great. He is heavily sedated, though, and he's going to need plenty of rest, so you're going to have to come back tomorrow now. Right, OK. No, that's fine. I'll no doubt see you then. Yeah, and uh, thanks for all your help. your head in. I made one mistake. Didn't finish the job. Say hello to Callum for me. Oh, I thought you'd gone. No, no, I'm, um, I'm just uh, making him feel comfortable. Oh. I'll see you soon. How'd you guess? I thought you went for one this morning. Oh, yeah, but everyone's been really weird today, so I thought I'd get out of the house. And it's not like I can go to the gym, is it, seeing as though you cancelled my membership? I thought we were going to go for a run together. What is it with you, this obsession with working out all the time? Why are you so dramatic? It's not an obsession. Oh, good. You won't mind giving it a miss, then. You can come with me. Where? Roy's. Come on, we'll have a little chat and a bite to eat. I'm not hungry. Tough. All in his sights, just one out of shape to bend it a bit. There you go. Dig in. So... So what? Are you going to tell me what's up? Nothing. Oh, darling, I'm not stupid. All this running and exercise... Oh, here we go. Is it because of how you think you might look? Because, you know, if it is, you have nothing to worry about. You are so beautiful. Why does it have to be about how I look? Well, because you're a teenage girl, and newsflash, I actually was one once. And apart from, well, boys and music, the only things we ever thought about were clothes and our hair and you know, how we looked. Well, I'm not you, am I? So can I get off, please? Not until you've had this. I'll just have it to go. No. Because I actually can't remember the last time I've seen you eat, so... No. What are you scared of? It's just a sandwich. I'm not scared of anything. Come on, then. Fine, if it'll get you off my back. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Please, please, just talk to me. Any look? No, he's not answering. How's Max and Lily? Max is still playing with his Xbox. Probably best that he's out of the way until we find out what's happened to David. Oh, finally. Where have you been? Out. Where? Went to see a mate. You ain't got any mates. Well, I've already had me interrogation for one day, all right? Wind your neck in. Well, it's a good job you hear that family liaison officer called when she's on the way over. Well, what's she want now? Uh, something to do with the trial. She wouldn't give me the details over the phone. Well, why aren't you asking? Yeah, all right. We're on your side. What's that? Max's swimming trophy. He came first. Yeah, good for him. How many times have you been running today? Twice. How about yesterday? Three, four times. Darling, that isn't normal. Neither's having a dead body under your house or someone in your family getting murdered or your mum going off her head. Sorry. But it isn't your fault. None of it is. 
I'm just, I'm trying to work out what all this is about. Right, you tell me the truth, okay? Have you been making yourself sick? No. That's why I exercise so much. I work out what I've eaten, how many calories, and then I figure out how many kilometers I have to run or reps I have to do to burn it off. At least I'm practicing my maths. So it is all about your weight then? Some. But mostly it's like, when I'm running or I'm at the gym, I don't have to think about what's happened or how messed up everything is. I don't have to think about anything. That's what I need right now, Mum. OK, um... Well, what about I, I could have a word with Gary and we could renew your membership at the gym? But that is on the condition that you and him, you work out a training programme that is not going to make you ill, OK? So would that make you happy? I'm a teenage girl. Of course not. Well, you've got to promise me. If there is something that is upsetting you or something wrong, you talk to me, OK? OK. I'm sorry, but um, are you nearly done? Because I need to close up. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Hi. Hi. Uh, I can help. I want to renew Bethany's membership. Right. Uh, yeah, just let me get her details up. So we um, had a little chat, me and her, and um, we've sorted a few things out. Well, I hope so, anyway. I'm glad to hear it. She's a nice kid. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks. Not just for looking out for her recently, but, you know, with all the help with, with when she was being bullied and that. I didn't do much. Oh. You're always this modest. Oh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, next to my charm and good looks, it's probably the most attractive feature. Uh, is it the uh, same account details? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll just need your card details and you'll be good to go, unless there's anything else. Yes, um, there is something, actually. Um, I'm working tonight, I'm just doing a shift at the pub, but I thought maybe if you fancied it, I could just buy you a drink, just to say sorry for being such a mardy cow. The CPS have been in contact and they've decided you'll no longer be required to give evidence. Why? Although no charges were brought against you over Clayton's name being brought into the public domain, the, the prosecution are concerned his defence could use it to discredit your evidence. Maybe it's for the best, David. How's that? Well, if you go on the stand, you'll have to go through it all again, and it I just make you even more upset. Upset? Is that what you think I'm feeling? You haven't got a clue what I'm going through, have you? Upset is when you burn your tea or when someone cuts you up in traffic. But I've had my heart ripped out. Because every morning, I wake up and I see an empty space where my wife should be, and she's not there. So my life, what's left of it, means nothing now, and someone has to pay for that. Do you want me to go after him? OK. Nothing to say to you. I'm not going to pretend to know what you're going through. But me, Mum, your family, just want to help. You can't. I've tried, no one can. You're not giving us a chance. All right, then. Help me. Say something that's going to make me feel better. Something profound, like time heals all wounds. Or at least you've got your memories. Why are you angry at me? I'm angry at everything. When you said uh, someone's going to pay for what happened... Oh, it's just shooting my mouth off. You don't mean it. Yeah, I know you. That's what worries me. Where did you go after the police let you out? Where did you go? I went to the hospital to see Marco. put my hand over his face. And I could see that he was struggling and kicking, so I had to press harder. And I just was watching him. I was waiting for him to die. It would have been easy as well, but then the nurse came in and I had to let go. I had to... 
You know, we'll see what happens. No. CCTV? No, no. Checked. No. Macca, is he? Yeah, he's fine. Well, for now. David, you gotta let this go. Or I swear I'll go to the police. Right. That's your idea of helping me then, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's my idea of helping you. If it keeps you out of prison for the rest of your life. You've got Max and Lily to think about. I'm no good for them, Nick. Well, you're all they've got. So forget about Macca. What if I can't? What if I can't forget about him? Because the only time I felt anything other than pain and hate over these last few months is when I found out he was hurt. And when I was in that hospital room with my hands over his face. He don't deserve to live. That's not a good decision, is it? So what? You hurt him? Is that gonna make you feel better? Is that gonna take the pain away? Maka didn't kill Kylie. Clayton did. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna go into prison? You're gonna stab him in the showers? Police have gone. Let the courts do their job. Lock him up and stow away the key. But you have to promise me. You have to promise me you'll stay away from that hospital and muck her. Hey. Promise me. That's on me. Thanks. <laughs> I've got something in my face. No, no, sorry, it's just, um... You look really nice. Oh, thank you. I'm just in my work stuff. I, I didn't, you know, make an effort. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course not me neither. Mm. I'll let you show it. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, I just got it. So you did make a bit of an effort then? Uh, all right, maybe a bit. Where have you been? Been worried sick? Went to the pub with Nick. Dinner's ready and there's plenty here if you're hungry, David. No, oh, you're all right, sir. So. What are you doing up there? Waiting for you to come home. <laughs> you all right? Did you see my trophy? I did, yeah. Michael showed me it. You won your race, didn't you? By a mile. Good. Sorry, I want that to watch it. It's okay. It's just there'll be times now when can't be with you always. Why? Not just because of work and stuff. But I know you'll be fine. Do you know I know that? Just look how grown up you are. And you're nearly as tall as me. We're sitting down. <laughs> See, you're smart as well. But you get that from your mum. Come here. I love you, you know what? I do. Good, now do one. Thank you for a nice night. Though, you know, you didn't actually have to wait for me to finish my shift. Well, free beers, I'm not going to say no, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, though, it was, uh, it was fun. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, but, um... I've needed it. Things um, haven't exactly been easy lately. It'll get better. I hope so. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I am not. Mm. I better go. Night. Night. All right. Where have you been? Uh, no, I'm special. I'm just working. What are you doing? Just checking my emails. Right. Well, um, I'm going to get off to bed, so I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, all right. Night.
I think he's in the right frame of mind. I'm sure he'd be all right, and I know it'd do him good. But I just don't want him brooding. Anyway, with Maria being off, he said you're up to your eyes in it. Yeah, I mean, why isn't she working as a matter of interest? Well, I said she could go to London for a few days. She wanted to help out this friend at her salon. Yes, well, all the more reason to let David help you out, please, ma'am. Oh, OK. Well, maybe just for a few hours. Ah, uh, your Gran says she's got a couple of regulars uh, coming in. Wondered if you'd go in and help out. Yes, it's Mrs Samuels, right? And the girl with the lovely red curly hair. So, what do you say? I mean, you'd be doing your Gran a favour. Yes, definitely. Yes, you would. Well, I'm going to be busy. Busy doing what? I love Lily. Just doing stuff. What stuff? Family stuff. Not all day. What do you say, David? I mean, the money would come in useful, wouldn't it? Yeah, fine, yeah, whatever. Yeah, go on, and an egg. And a piece of toast. Oh, somebody has an appetite this morning. Cheers, Anna. Yeah, what is wrong with you? Please tell me you're not pregnant. Oh. The immaculate conception. I'm gonna eat breakfast. No, I've got to go to school. Well, make sure you get some lunch. Oh, I had a thought. I thought maybe we could go to the gym later. Oh, what, so you can keep an eye on me? No. I'm joking. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. Are you expecting someone? No. You're hoping to see someone then? You are! Who is it? No one. You liar. Look at you, you're all smiley. So, come on, tell me. Oh, OK, there is someone. <gasps> oh, my God, who? Nobody you know you know, Izzy Parker. <sighs> it's nothing, not yet, anyway. Oh, it's not someone you've met in the pub, is it? No, it's not. I don't mind, do you? No. Everything that happened with Callum. After everything that happened, I think you should go for it. Really? Yeah, just as long as he's not... Well, as long as he's nice. Who's that, then? Mum's new boyfriend. Bringing it. We're in that much of a rush this morning. Your prop's giving you a good night from me, yeah? Of course, you know. See you later. Yeah, see you. Oi. All right. You see a little bit more cheerful? Uh, yeah, well, Mum's buying a flat, so it's bye bye Madhouse, hello, long soaks in the bath, and music from this century. Cool. Been sorting out a workout program for you both. Oh, yeah, great. We'll come in later. Yeah? Yeah, I think she's trying to get fit for this new boyfriend of hers. Well, she's got a new boyfriend, is she? Apparently. Anyway, I better go. Yeah, 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 me too. And you know I'm here, right, if you need anything, help or advice. Thanks. No worries. Can't say I get to watch much afternoon telly. Oh, it's my guilty pleasure. David Dickinson in his antique whatnots and a cream horn. Mind you, it's a madhouse at our place most of the time. Yeah, must be, you know. But you're on babysitting duties now, your Sarah's seeing somebody. Sarah? Yeah. Bethany mentioned it when they were in here earlier. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, Sarah was quite surprised, you know, what were your Sarah being poorly in that recently. Yes, but she's, uh, she's much better now. Thank you. Hey, my love, book you in. See you then. Bye-bye. David, where do you think you're going? I told you I could only stay for a bit. You cannot leave in the middle of a customer. Now, please, will you brush Karen's hair out before she turns into Shirley Temple? Come on. He's coming to see you now, Karen. Okay. I'll, I'll make your tea, my love. Just hold your arms up, please, sir. Bet you find all sorts been smuggled in here, don't you? Thank you, sir. If you'd move on. Yeah. I don't know about the gym, but I do fancy Tai Chi. I see a, a man on the red wreck doing it quite often. All peaceful and calming and Lord knows I could do with some of that. Especially seeing as I'm going to be doing extra babysitting. Why's that? I hear you've got yourself a boyfriend. Anna told me. 
Look, the only reason that I didn't say anything is because it's really early days. Yeah, well, maybe it's a good thing, eh? Take you out of yourself. Just as long as he's decent. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, he is. Um, has anyone seen my little compact mirror? You can borrow mine if you want. You look nice. Oh, thank you. Well, I don't want to be shown up by my daughter, do I? Have you got it? No. But I have found these. Diet pills. Why on earth did you lie? I didn't lie. You're doing it again. Look, how can I talk to you if you're not telling me? I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you because I'd stopped taking them. How do I know that's even the truth? Oh, Sarah, look Mom, at please stop. Do you have any idea how dangerous they can be? Do you? Yes. And I swear, after we talked, I haven't taken them since. I'm telling you the truth. Why didn't you tell me about this when we sat there and we talked about the other stuff? I just didn't want you to be disappointed in me. Gary tried to tell me, but I, I didn't listen. Gary? I don't blame him. I told him not to say anything. I am really sorry. Okay. You are. Just about to text you. You knew and you said nothing. What are you talking about? You knew that Bethany was taking diet pills. <sighs> well, at least you're not going to deny it. I can explain. You stood there, right? You lectured me about how best to deal with my daughter. But it wasn't like that. I thought I'd talked her out of taking them. Come on, I was in a difficult position. No, you don't get to make any excuses. She's my flesh and blood and I deserve to know what is going on. That is it. End of story. But she could have died, Gary, then what? I just thought it was better that she talked to someone than no one at all. Yeah, well, from now on, that someone's going to be me. Look, I'm glad that you know. Oh, well, no, thanks to you. Oh, that's not fair. Just listen to what I'm no. saying. You don't get any more chances to explain to me why, yet again, you didn't do the right thing. You had your second chance and you blew it. From now on, you stay away from my daughter and you stay away from me. Sarah. You heard. Oh, uh, you look like I feel. Well, get David to do that. Oh, chance would be a fine thing. Why? Where is he? I told you he wasn't ready to come back, didn't I, Gail? He's gone. Gone where? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, why didn't you phone me? Oh, I'm sorry, OK? Not that there was anything you could have done. He was out of here like a shot. Well, he's not been home. Don't tell me he's gone AWOL again. And even when he was here, he wasn't really with it. I mean, you should see the state of Karen's curly bob. Oh, Ella, come on, I've got a crack on, I'm sorry. Bethany's taking diet pills. Oh, my goodness, is she all right? Well, that's anybody's guess. I've left Sarah talking to her. Oh, poor little mite. Do you know what I have to say, Gail? I'm getting too old for all these family dramas. I really am. Mm -hmm. You and me both. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like? Shall I make a start on the sinks? Oh. It's the least I can do in view of that son of mine. Oh, sweetheart, thank you. And don't worry, because he'll turn up. Uh, rubber gloves are in the back. Because the game's an 18, that's why. It's not fair. All my friends are allowed to play it. And you've played it. I know you have. Look, I don't care. It's too violent. End of. Right, I'm gonna go away. 
fish fingers. That's a turkey dance. Oh, double points for that, clever clogs. I've got another one. Chicken nuggets. Ah, the old chicken nuggets, eh? What about you, Lil? Can you think of some food with an animal's name in it? Uh, Gran will help you, won't you? Where have you been? Dev, so I was picking him up. Oh, and uh, you can't have turkey dinosaurs. No. Because I said that. Come on, Gail. Granddad, I need you. Oh. Well, what about pigs in blankets? Oh, it's a good one, that. You'll have to remember that. I'm hungry. Well, good. So it's nearly ready. Uh, do you want some, by the way? There's loads left. Oh, yeah, well, that'd be really nice. Thanks. David said he'll take us into town and buy us a toy for being good. Did he? Yes. And if you eat all your dinner, maybe we could go upstairs and build a den. Might be a bit late for Lily. It should be all right. And what is it they say? You only live once. Right, come on then, dig in. 